Hey, Ronda Club family, it's Colin from the Fitness Tip of the Week. This week, we're going to talk about core training. Okay, we get asked a ton about uh, strength in our core, and a lot of times we use exercises that aren't necessarily the greatest uh, use of our time when we're talking about strengthening our core training. And a lot of times, these questions are coming from like, I just need to move better, I have back pain, uh, I need to be able to do some things around the house. Um, and unfortunately, crunches are not quite going to get there. We spend a lot of time working on the show of the core muscles, especially the anterior core muscles, and, and trying to get abs, which we, uh, hopefully by now we all know that a lot of the uh, ab showing is comes from nutrition, cleaning up your nutrition. And that's a, con uh, a, a topic for another day. But when we're talking about core, we, we, we want to think about this area as an anti-mover, okay? So we, it, our core muscles pre help prevent us from extending, helps prevent side flexing, flexing, and, and rotation first. So that's where we first need to start. So a lot of times we skip that step and we want to go into changing the range of motion. It's really about creating a cylinder and stacking and making that cylinder strong. The next piece of it is, is using your core to transfer force, okay? We don't have to just do lifting core exercises like front planks, side planks, and stuff like that. Uh, lifting weight will help us. That engages our core. We love using medicine balls. It's a, uh, for throwing because we're not only are we getting our power in, but we're also getting our body to transfer forces from our feet out through our hands. And guess where it needs to go? The transfer station, which is our core. So uh, we want to focus on you know preventing motion first. So that's a you can go with your planks, your side planks, um, different band press outs that are some videos I've showed in the past with press outs and preventing the range of motion. And then we can start slowly adding in a little bit of range of motion. Okay, um, and that could be maybe you could throw in your crunches again or adding in some uh, grabbing a medicine ball and working on some rotations back and forth. So we're adding a little bit of rotation and preventing rotation as well at the end. Um, and then you can get more advanced with a couple other exercises that are kind of beyond the scope of, uh, of this video. But we want to make sure that we start with the basics first, plants, then start lifting legs and adding a little more rotation, lifting arms, uh, bear crawls, bear crawl position, bear crawl lift offs. Uh, we want to start slow and ramp our way up, but we can't just do core exercises. We've got to add in some strength training as well. So if you need help with your core, we'd love to help you out. Uh, we can help provide a programming for you. We also have our core workouts uh, guide that we've put together. The link is in our caption. Download it. Let us know if you need anything. We look forward to seeing you around the club soon.